what we're going to do this time is make a, a, a T. This is a 24 by 8 duck, and it goes out each way 12 by 8. So what we're going to do is start making it up out of this piece here. Again, this is modular duck construction. We're going to have the fiberglass turning vanes in it. So what we're going to have to do is roll the duck up and break it over. Because once we put the turning vanes in it, you won't be able to do that. But see how easy it sets together now in the square? That's why that's done. <clears throat> okay, here it goes. I'm going to mark it so I know what I'm doing. And the air is going to be coming down here and it's going to turn out each side. So I'm going to put an X on both sides. And this, this air is coming down this side and turning out. And this air is coming down this side and turning out. So when you open it up, you got an idea of what's going on. This side cuts out, this side cuts out. And our turner veins are going to be put in there this way. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to come back here and cut this side out. And the side has to be cut out. It's 12 inches because that's what the dimension of the duck is that's going to be stubbed into it. And one and a half times, which would be 14 and a quarter. So I'll put that mark across the duck. And I have to put it over here as well. And the same thing over here. Same thing there. And here. And then across here. Now this duct here is going to be coming down here and it's going to be actually split in the middle. So I'm going to put a 12 inch mark right here and do the same thing in the center of this one. Now I'm going to cut these two panels out. This one here cuts out. And this side cuts out. I'm going to go ahead and draw in where my turning vanes go. I'm going to drop down three quarters of an inch because when this duct comes in here, it's going to fill this up three quarters of an inch. So I have to do it here too. All the way across. So that's where my, my duct is actually going to be coming. The center of the duct is from there down to this line. I draw that line up there and I come back five inches from my first one, three of them, three inches each time after that. I do the same thing here. Come back five, three inches each time after that. All right. Again, there's that center line. And go five, three, three, three. And again, I punch it in here to the center line. And I go back five, oops, three, three, three. And see, because of this duct coming in here, it's going to fill up that much. So that's the reason we didn't go from that mark. We had to drop back three quarters of an inch. All right. These turning vanes are going to go in there. So we got to cut the, the slots for them. And this is uh, made by Amcraft. And uh, it cuts a slot for these fiberglass turning vanes. I can't look over the front and see that mark, so I always line up these screws over the center line of this, and I mark it, I can see back here, so I set the tool down, I can see that mark right there, and that's how I set it in each time.
and do the same thing on this side. Now we gotta come over here and cut these. You can see all the way along that I'm staying right in the center line with that. There's a little bit of glass left down the bottom, but it doesn't hurt anything. These turning vanes are cut nine and a half inches. The inside dimension of this duct is eight inches. So that gives it enough to where it goes down in there. and keeps from falling out. If you notice, I put them in this side first that way when I roll it over, it comes down, I can look right down in there and see it. If not, if I'd have put them on this side first, I'd have had to look upside down to get to it. See now that I've broke this board before we put it together, I can set it right up in place. Again, we use a pressure sensitive tape, put it on here and rub it down, it's a done deal. Now, as this piece is up here, we're gonna to have to have an end cap for it. We got this piece cut. And we cut this so it'll fit right down in here and it has a flap on each side of it to staple. The dimension on that goes all the way across 27 inches. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna need a female on both ends of it. So I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna start at 27 inches.
Now I know there's going to be a female right here. So I can mark it in case this piece is laying over the side. I know what's, which side gets it. All right, I'll take my knife and cut this in two. And take a number one tool, or a female tool, and run across this end of it. Then I can take this piece with a female here and there, which just has a female on both sides of it, and set it right in place. Then all I gotta do is staple it together. Okay, and that gives me my elbow, turning veins in both ends, both sides of it. All I have to do is put a piece of tape here, both sides of this. And that's it.